<laughs> hey, it's Peter with Aronsi. One of the questions we're um, commonly asked is, how do I know the air purifier is gonna work and how do I know it's gonna work in my space? And so what we did is we put together a test in a, you know, a controlled room uh, with a couple of our air purifier models and we introduced smoke and we measured it with really high quality uh, laser particle counters to show um, exactly how the air purifiers can reduce the pollutants in a space and uh, in a sense replicate the lab tests that are done to create the CADR and other metrics that are used to evaluate air purifier performance. And so to start, um, the room was 260 square feet and we use two different particle counters. One is a heavy duty and professional, probably about a $5,000 um, laser particle counter. That's really what the professionals use. And then we also use more of an entry level laser particle counter, which is maybe more in a two, three hundred dollar range, which is a bit of more of a simplistic, but it gives real time measurements and it gives a good indication of, you know, the air quality in the space. And so if you look at the data from the from this first chart for the Mod Junior, this is with the um, entry level uh, particle counter and it measures it at one micron and five microns in size. And, you know, this particle counter says, if it's over the, you know, the one micron size is over a thousand particles, that's very poor air quality. And when we blew out the candles, we went through and did it twice, you know, six candles twice, so it was 12 candles of smoke. And we got over 9,000 particles at one micron, which is, <laughs> significantly above um, what they consider very poor. And you can see, um, you know, within two minutes, it reduced it by roughly a half. And then, you know, as you get to 10 minutes and 20 minutes, it, it you know, it drops to 90 to 99 to 100% of the particles are removed from the space. And, and what we observed was, you know, with the air purifier running, with the airflow of the air purifier, it was doing what we call one air change every nine minutes. So that means every nine minutes it was effectively circulating the volume of air into space through the filter. And you could see the particle count drop dramatically. Um, and this is the Mod Junior with the um, high end particle. Uh, meter and you can see it's measuring it at even smaller particle sizes down to 0.3 microns all the way up to five microns and the, you know it's measuring just so many more particles but the results are pretty similar where you know 10 minutes in and even at the smallest size it's removing 85 percent uh, and then it you know gradually gets to 99 to 100 um, percent over time and this is the airman it's very similar we ran this again um, this time the particle counts were 9,200, um, but very similar to results to the Mod Junior in that, you know, at 10 minutes it was, you know, 73 to 84% removal for particles. And by the time we got to 30 minutes, it was, you know, 99 to 100% of particles removed. The professional, you know, particle counter, again, you can see it's much more um, granular data. What I would mention is the 0.3 microns are the most important to remove. Those are the smallest particles. Those are the ones you're most likely to breathe in um, and it could potentially enter your bloodstream. So that'll have the most serious impact on really your quality of life or your health. And so that's why those are the most important. The larger size particles, there aren't really as many of those as you can see the, you know, the numbers are significantly smaller and those are you know, quite easy to, to remove. And then we ran a separate test with, um, instead of a candle, we use actual smoke, um, smoking. And the, you know, the particle count was quite different. Here it was, you know, 15,000 particles at one micron, very few five micron particles. So these were very fine particles. And you could see in removing um, this type of, of smoke within 10 minutes, it was 90% removed. Um, and in 30 minutes, it was down to 99%. And again, that's for the airmen. And for, you know, the professional particle counter it was well over 3 million particles, but very similar. It took about 15 minutes to remove, you know, 90%. Um, 30 minutes, it was 97%, and it'll just keep getting better as it as it removes it. But again, the, the vast majority of these particles were like 0.3 to 0.5 microns, very small particles. And so, you know, that's something that you just can't see. That's something that, um, you know, as you can see the difference in the particles measured, it's the, the, you know, professional one is just picking up so much more stuff than the 
lower price one. And then, you know, some air purifiers have particle counters or meters in the machines themselves. Those are even <laughs> several notches below that. And that's why we don't, one of the reasons we don't put them in our machines is they're just not, they just don't have the, have the accuracy of the professional meters. And we know that the air purifiers work and, you know, that's why we sent them off to test. So really what we wanted to show here was replicate what is done in a lab. This is, you know, 260 square feet room. I think the official test chambers are closer to 300 square feet, but um, it, it is similar to what you see in a lab. The difference is the lab is very um, controlled and repeatable, whereas when we were just blowing out candle smoke between tests, the number of particles, there was variance, and you don't get that in the controlled lab. But other than that, it was very consistent with um, what you see in terms of lab results. And when you size an air purifier for a space, when they do it through the lab test, it's really, you know, if you're looking at smoke, what is an 80% reduction um, at roughly five air changes an hour? And that determines you know, effectively what the room size of that air purifier, that's how an air purifier is rated. And those are the numbers that we show um, on our products. And that's how you know an air purifier is going to work is because if it's been tested and it's been shown to remove, you know, 80% within a certain time frame, it's going to do that in that size space. Um, Anyways, if you have any questions or you want to see more, more tests like this or more videos, just, you know, please um, comment below. Thank you.